Good evening. My name is Pat Wallace, and I'm the principal at Wright City West Elementary School in the Wright City School District. And I'm also a proud Lindenwood alumni. And I just want to start by taking a second to thank you. I've really enjoyed participating in this great event. And as I look out into the audience and I see all the other great speakers and presenters, I just think to myself, wow, look at all these zeros. <laughs> Oops. Um, <laughs> you see, this is my first TEDx talk. And the biggest piece of advice I got as I was preparing was whatever you do, uh, don't insult your audience. Um, so let me try that again. Uh, what I meant to say was, you all have the potential to be zeros. There. That's a little better. Okay, let me explain. Uh, you see, in our society today, there's a negative connotation around the expression, you're zero. Currently, it holds the meaning that you're nothing, a loser, worthless, or worse. Even in the Merriam-Webster dictionary, the fourth definition of zero is listed as an insignificant person or thing. However, I'm here to tell you today that that's incorrect. I am a zero, and I'm proud of it. And when I stated earlier you all had the potential to be zeros, I meant it. And you should strive to be one. So here's how you can be. Being a zero is simple. There's only one question you must pass on the test. And remember, I'm an educator. We love our assessments. That question, though, is the one question you must answer every single day when you wake up in the morning. And it is, how many people can I live with not helping today? Let me repeat that. How many people can I live with not helping today? All you have to do is answer that question with zero. That's it. Then you're a zero, and I can guarantee the dictionary has it wrong, and you will not be an insignificant person or thing. I have proof. You see, I'm standing here before you today as the product of many zeros impact. I grew up in a lower income home. My father walked out on my family when I was very young and has not been around since. My mother worked a minimum of two jobs, many times three, to help provide for my family. Faced with much adversity, I was blessed to have so many zeros enter my life. Many of my male teachers and coaches who became my role models were zeros, and they went above and beyond to provide support and guidance to me. They are the reason I got into education in the first place, because I knew I was lucky that I had these zeros in my life. However, not every child or person is lucky enough to have zeros in theirs. The negative statistics we hear about children coming from broken homes and poverty still exist, and I wanted to do something about it. I didn't want it to be left up to luck if children had people in their lives that would help them. I knew I wanted to dedicate my life to being somebody else's zero. Now, let's imagine those same people were number ones. What if instead of answering the question of how many people can I live with not helping today with zero, they said one? They could have thought to themselves, I can live with not helping one person. That's not so many. But what if I was that one? How many ones do you think comprise those terrible statistics? How many people missed out on a chance to be something because they didn't have a zero in their lives? Then think, what if people answer that question with two, three, or four? What is that number for you? How many people can you really live with not helping in any given day? Ask yourselves. In my view, there's only one acceptable answer to that question. Zero. So that's why I'm here. It's simple. I want to convince you all to be zeros. Because it is my contention that it isn't being a zero that makes you an insignificant person or thing. It's not being one. One final note. In addition to defining zero as an insignificant person or thing, the very first definition the dictionary gives zero is the absence of all magnitude or quantity. However, it is my belief that if each of us becomes zeros, we can make a difference in this world whose magnitude and quantity is not absent, but is instead profoundly immeasurable. So I challenge you, each of you, be zeros. And maybe, just maybe, like this event's great theme, we can truly rise up and change the world. Thank you.